Welcome to Lenovo Unboxed 2012. We're about to bust out one of the most magnificent and you could even say historic products, I believe, that's ever come out under the ThinkPad name. That's Definitely. how you could go there. Yeah. And, and uh, it's called the X1 Carbon. We're here with uh, Kevin Beck, product ambassador, and Richard LeBennett, product manager. Nice yes, to sir. see you guys. Good to see Excellent. you. Uh, where do we start, Kevin? All right. Uh, tell you what, let's uh, let's go ahead and get into this real quick. I'll let uh, Richard give us a little overview of what the product is while okay. I start digging into the box. All right. So we're getting ready to open up the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It is the thinnest ThinkPad we've produced to date. It is the lightest 14-inch Ultrabook. So two very big milestones. We're really excited about this. It's culmination of 20 years of engineering. So it's a big, uh, pretty big deal for, for ThinkPad and for all of us here in, in Morrisville and over in China. All right, so we're gonna dig in here. I <coughs> won't talk too much about the, uh, the ship group. I know we talked about it. You wanna comment on this, Richard, right here? This is our, uh, of course, this is our AC adapter. It's a 90 watt AC adapter. This helps to uh, power the system. Yep. We've got a new, very thin square connector this year. So we're introducing that first time ever on the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Nice. There you go. Oh yeah. Our recycled and recyclable packaging that awesome I'm fond packaging. of uh, fond of talking about. And Very green. here we go. Yikes. Oh. Nice. Wow. I have to say I haven't been this close to the X1 carbon yet. I've seen the pictures, but it's uh it's even smaller in person than I imagined. Yeah. It's a, it's, <laughs> it's a wisp. Right. So this is uh, of course the carbon fiber ultrabook that we're calling it. It's 14 inches, um, as you can see, very sleek, very slim, and pretty stylish, I would say. It yep. is, I may be biased, but I... <laughs> Maybe so just a little just bit. Just a little Heck bit. yes, uh, on, uh, on both counts. Like I gotta <laughs> say, I've, I've seen a lot of ThinkPads, and so far, this is, this is just it, as far mm -hmm. as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Kev, real quick, uh, could you guys talk about the carbon fiber while we've got it closed still? Um, mm -hmm. Uh, we, we talked about the, the, this is the 20th year of ThinkPad, right, right. and uh, carbon fiber is not new to the ThinkPad line by any means, but t tell us a little bit about that. If you no, can. absolutely not. Um, we've used carbon fiber in some form or another back to the very first ThinkPad, the 700C, in 1992. Uh, so it's something that we've always used uh, as much as we could in certain lines of ThinkPad because it has some great uh, attributes, if you will. Really light, really strong but expensive, right. right? So we've taken a lot of te steps, uh, you know, in-house research development in new ways of, of manufacturing and implementing carbon fiber, uh, you know, to get it down to something that we can use in, in even more of them because we want the strength and the resiliency and the reliability and the durability and everything to come sure. along with it. It's just, uh, you know, been a 20 year journey to get to yeah, this point. Yeah. Right. A balancing right. act of sorts for the yep. designers, right? A lot of work into that. Yep, all right. Where should we go next? What do you want to talk about? Do we want to do ports? Do we want to open it up and take a look inside? Yeah, let's, let's uh, you just briefly go around the okay, outside Okay, let's there. go around the outside. So uh, on this side, we've got an SD card uh, reader and a mini display port, your combo audio, and your USB 3 port. Mm -hmm. So we try to keep it slim, very essential ports. On the back, you've got your SIM card reader. So you, this door opens up. You can mm -hmm. put your 3G uh, SIM card in there. And then on the... The next side over here, we've got a USB, uh, USB 2.0 powered always on port and your wireless switch. So very simple but essential ports on your on your Ultrabook here. What's the uh, significance of the always on port? I've oh. seen that before. I'm not sure I entirely knew what it meant. Right. So the always on port really basically when when your notebook is plugged in mm -hmm. you, and it and it's uh, powered off, you can still power your you can still power your phone or some other uh, peripheral. Uh, through that port, so it just keeps you keeps you active, keeps you going. Sure. Yep. Okay. All right. Shall we open her up? Let's. All right. <clears throat> so I'll stop and get a little uh, shot there of uh, mm -hmm. how thin the top screen is. Um, most of that thinness, but yet the strength and rigidity of it, very much attributable to that uh, copious use of carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got our. Uh, First look inside the system here. Uh, for those of you who have not yet seen a current generation uh, ThinkPad, you will notice that we've switched to a new, uh, what are we calling this, Richard? The ThinkPad? Precision uh, keyboard. ThinkPad precision keyboard. Yes, um, so I know, Gav, you've written a few blog uh, posts about this. Right. Uh, some folks embrace change. Some folks are a little, <laughs> less, uh, a little less enthusiastic about it. Uh, but the one thing I would say from my standpoint, having uh, you know spent literally hours in Japan within the past few months talking to the engineers who designed this, 
Um, there's not much, there are not many things about this that got as much focus, quite honestly, as the mm -hmm. keyboard in this. Just making sure that as we got this thinner than anything we'd ever done before, that the keyboard still had that signature ThinkPad responsiveness and the force curve. And uh, I may have said this in another video before, but we literally have the world's most boring lab test mm -hmm. to test the, uh, the, the consistency of our keys right. from key to key to machine to machine. Is there's a machine that comes down and tests the amount of force that it takes to press the key down, mm -hmm. and then the force that it exerts coming back up. And one cycle of that thing is mm, mm, two and a half minutes. <laughs> right? And we do it on every key, every keyboard, just to test and make sure that it feels like a ThinkPad. It right. sounds duller than an unboxing right. video. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's not the world's <laughs> most exciting thing to watch. Uh, but you know, to, to indulge in a little bragging here, right. indicative of the depth to which these guys go right. in our engineering labs to make yeah. sure that these things are right before we put them on the market. Obviously the level of attention that's been given to it, I know um, the earlier iteration of this keyboard on the original X1 last mm -hmm. year was called the greatest laptop keyboard ever yes, by sir. Laptop Magazine. So right. The Stradivarius uh, of yeah, keyboards. That's right. right. Okay. So, and talk to us about the display, guys. Um, I, I, it's one topic that's that's come up that I was real interested mm -hmm. in. Right. So, we're really excited about this display, namely because it's an HD Plus 1600 by 900 display. Um, last year, we w with the original X1, we had a, a, a glossy 1366 by 768. We heard a lot a lot of feedback from our customers, a lot of feedback from users that mm -hmm. they wanted a they wanted a higher resolution panel mm -hmm. and one that wasn't that didn't have the glare on it. So mm -hmm. we think we hit we hit the nail on the head with this one and came out with something that's really uh it's gonna be enjoyable. It's gonna be bright right. and it's gonna it's gonna look really good. Right. And also, while this is a 13-inch classic form factor of a notebook, the screen is actually 14 inches, mm -hmm. right? The screen is 14 inches. So it's it's still in a 13-inch, I call it a 13-inch form factor because a lot of the 13-inch Ultrabooks are, are in the same size, they've got the same footprint, mm -hmm. but we fit an extra inch of screen in here. Yep. Uh, we mentioned the carbon fiber earlier. Mm -hmm. what, what other durability features should we call out here? Uh, obviously, some people are very familiar with ThinkPad's history of ruggedness, but um, name check a couple of those if you guys could. Okay. Right. So we've got our hinges, of course. Hinges, it's never really sexy to talk about hinges, right? But mm -hmm. you, you spend the majority of the life of this notebook opening and closing it. So we sure. test this over 30,000 times, mm -hmm. make sure that you can close it, open it, close it, open it. It's going to last. Mm -hmm. um, the keyboard, of course, is spill-proof, so it can take about a cup of coffee if you spill it in there and it won't die. Uh, of course, please don't do that please on purpose. Please don't do it on <laughs> purpose. But <laughs> Every single time. Uh, accidents happen. Classic and ThinkPad attribute. There. Right. We yeah. try to build that in. And uh, all, all around, it's just, uh, it's mil-spec tested, and it's ThinkPad, it's ThinkPad tested. So it's going to be last. Battered, blown yeah. with dust, yes. baked, yes. Yeah. frozen, right. all the usual things. That Vibrated, and shaken. Uh, yep. You know, that's one of the things that I've actually spent a lot of time going through uh, with customers on this, is there are a lot of Ultrabooks in the market, right? We're not going to name check anybody in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, but to do it the way we did it, uh, I had a personal conversation with one of the product managers uh, in Japan on this product, and he said, you know, I've been around 15, 20 years, however long he's been around, and he says, I've never heard so many people use the word impossible mm -hmm. <laughs> when it came to, uh, you know, the development process on this, but obviously they got it done. But it right. was... To make a long story short, a huge challenge to get something, and, and uh, uh, Sanity check me on the specs here, Richard. We're at uh, 19 millimeters? Just under 19, so 18.8 millimeters. Okay, just under 19 millimeters and yeah. just a hair under three pounds. Right, just a hair. Right, so to get right. all of that in this chassis with a new type weave, weave is the wrong word, new type, new implementation of carbon fiber, and to get the keyboard right and have it feel like all the other ThinkPads, right, and right. to have it pass all the standard ThinkPad uh, torture tests, and to pass the 8 mil spec tests, that was not an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. doubt. Right. So they're they're fairly happy with themselves, and, 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 and I think deservedly <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Deservedly so. Yeah. So uh, a couple other things, guys, and then I know we want to we want to move this along. We don't want to ramble any more than we have in some yeah. of our previous ones. Yeah. We're conscious of that. But um, talk to me about the the uh, the battery life and the rapid charge that we have mm -hmm. for the battery, okay. um, and the connectivity options as well. And mm -hmm. then let's maybe do an egregiously beautiful profile shot of it, and then uh, boot the thing up. Okay. Right. Sounds good. So we've got seven hours of battery life uh, on the X1 Carbon, and of course the rapid charge function is, I think that's essential for people who are going to buy an Ultrabook, right? Because you're always on the go, you want something that's mobile, you want something that can keep up with you. And the rapid charge function especially uh, helps with that because it can give you, you charge up to 80% in around 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's, if you start with the seven, from zero, from, from, a, zero, from, a dead, from battery. dead battery, mm -hmm. you can okay. get five and a half hour charge 
in 35 minutes. So that's that's pretty uh, impressive mm-hmm. for me. I, uh, you Good can for use it between, airport layover, between a yeah. layover, yeah. between meetings, between uh, mm-hmm. just or whenever you need a quick charge, you're, sure. you've got it. Right. So uh, and we got, yeah, of course, full suite of wireless LAN offerings. Right. Um, and uh, very uncommonly in this thinness of uh, notebook, we also have wireless WAN as mm-hmm. well. 3G connected, 3G, right. 3G mobile broadband. So mm-hmm. I think that's also unique in, in this mm-hmm. kind of space because everyone can't fit those antennas into the, Absolutely. Into yep. the form factor. Okay. Right. Well, let's, uh, if you've, one of you guys wants to hold it up and okay. for, a, for, again, a right. sort of... A long, slow shot of the profile, and we'll show off that shot. slim profile. Okay. And, and then I'll we're going to take it and kind of close it down on camera. There you go. We want to. I definitely want to sh- get a shot of it open all the way. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Good point. Another, oh yeah. One another other point thing, about the hinges, right? Um, yeah. It's not everyone's usage model, but there are some cases and some users who, for whom this is important, um, also not particularly common in the ultrabook world. Right. Something that'll open full flat. Exactly. Exactly. Very and cool. our, to your point, the mm-hmm. engineers in in, in uh, Japan are just they they love to be able to do this and say that we can do it because mm-hmm. it's just how difficult it is to to manufacture mm-hmm. that. Yep. Um, and for any of you guys who uh, look at our Lenovo blogs, you can uh, check out several uh, posts that we've had from the Japan team. Uh, who are, we call them the Yamato team, even mm-hmm. though they're no longer in Yamato. Mm-hmm. They're in, uh, is it Yokohama? They're in Yokohama. But, uh, yeah, there's a few posts on there about the design, the engineering, and, and mm-hmm. everything that went into this and some really yep. sort of frank discussions about what they went through. Right. All right. Um, guys, anything else before we uh, take a quick cut and boot it up? No, we'll uh, close it down, boot it up, and be back in just a sec. Great. Cool. All right, we're back. We've uh, done a little bit of configuring in our first boot up of the X1 Carbon. And uh, we just wanted to point out a couple more things for you guys before we sign off. Uh, Kevin, you want to start it? All right. Um, well, I'll, I'll let Richard uh, fill in the rest of the machine. But I just wanted to point out, you've uh, seen this sitting here beside the uh, system the whole time. This is our latest USB 3.0 dock. Mm-hmm. Um, USB 3.0 point, uh, port, obviously, on the uh, X1 Carbon. But no classic kind of click-it-in docking port. Right. Too thin for that. So we're going to do a separate video on this. Folks, look for it in the feed. Uh, just to point out, we've got a dock here, two USB uh, 3.0 on the front, headphone jack, got our uh, USB cable plugged in here, three more USB 3.0, Ethernet, and two fully independent uh, DVI displays. Right. So this is home base. Yep, this is home base. So yep. this is uh, one plug, and uh, you've got your monitors, your Mac, uh, mouse. Hard drive. Hard drive. Printer. Coaster. <laughs> coaster. coaster. What do you want? Keyboard. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. And then um, we'll wrap up on the, uh, the X1 Carbon itself. Okay. So what you get to see here is live in action, the HD Plus 1600 by 900, 300 nit panel. So it's, it's very bright, very uh, crisp. Mm-hmm. Right. And again, it's 14 inches. So really nice. Um, we talked about the keyboard. Of course, it's backlit. I think we'll we'll show that in a Two little bit. Two levels of brightness. Two levels of brightness. So right. brand new precision keyboard and a very very large glass touchpad. So that's a new um, a new touchpad design that we're introducing on the little, X1 Carbon as well. white action. Here. So trying to improve yes, the touchpad. the user experience as we uh, as we get into these ultra books and and try to keep keep pushing the ball forward. So. Well, that's the story, guys. ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Uh, In the 20th year of ThinkPad, uh, this is uh, basically our flagship product, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. All right. Thanks.